distal ulna arthroplasty for replacement of the arthritic distal ulna. This is a valuable technique that provides excellent pain relief for patients with either traumatic or degenerative arthritis involving the distal ulna. It is key that the joint is fairly stable before considering arthroplasty. An approach can be used either centered over the ulna or a more midline approach can be used as well. There are two options for exposing this. One is through the uh, fifth compartment with the release of the fifth compartment as shown here. In this case, the extension digiti minimi is retracted radially and the periosteum is then elevated to elevate the ECU ulnarly. A second option is to reflect the ECU and retract it radially by elevating the periosteum along its ulnar border. The soft tissue attachments of the triangular fiber cartilage are released as well. Once the TSSC and other soft tissue are detached, the length for the arthroplasty and the osteotomy can then be marked out in the ulna and the osteotomy completed with an oscillating saw using retractors to protect the deep structures. The distal ulna segment is then sharply excised, taking care to protect the neurovascular structures. The existing head can then be used as a way to measure for the implant size. Trocars and then brooches are used to prepare the canal for the uh, ulnar stem component. Cannulated reamers can be used when the canal is difficult to locate, particularly in revision surgery. Once the trial components demonstrate a stable uh, contact with the sigmoid notch, the final components can be then inserted and the stem is tamped into position. Before placing the head on the stem, the sutures are first passed through the triangular fiber cartilage to anchor this to the uh, head of the distal ulna component. This makes it much easier to pass the sutures through the eyelet holes in this, the head of the component rather than doing this after the head has been secured onto the stem. Once the sutures are passed and tagged with hemostats, it is then possible to secure the head onto the uh, stem with the correct rotation so that the sutures line up with the triangular fiber cartilage. The head is placed onto the stem and then secured onto the Morris taper with an impactor. The sutures are tested through a range of motion and then tied. The capsule is further uh, repaired as well once the TFCC has been repaired to the head. A secure repair is performed so that the ECU remains dorsal. The wound is closed in layers and a long arm cast applied.